Hi folks, welcome to chapter 17. Let's make a part. Uh, I've always wanted one of these quick vice handles that uh, has the two positions that sells for $24 and that to me looks like a great part just to whip out um, for fun and, and save myself $24. So I've already gone ahead and modeled it and you can see that there. It's um, I'm going to make it out of aluminum and I'm going to make it 5 eighths inch thick. So I've already done all my cam, so let's take a look at the simulation and then we'll sort of go backwards. So I'm spot drilling. Actually, hold on. You know what? Let me slow it down. I'll walk through some of the beginning stuff here. So spot drilling, 1 8 inch pilot, number 7 drill now, and then I'll tap that end quarter 20 for some type of a handle. There goes the tap. Then next I'm going to pocket out the two um, hex holes with a quarter inch two flute carbide end mill. Those are stepping down at 100 thou. And I'm leaving to some side stock. Or no, I'm not leaving side stock, but what I am going to do after both of those are done is clean up the inside corners with a 1 8 inch end mill, which you're about to see. Okay, here comes that. So there, that takes two steps down, and it's really only touching the corners, as you can see here. Then I'm going to start the con exterior, or excuse me, the outside contour. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to, I'm using a half inch aluminum roughing end mill, and I'm going to take some side passes um, at full depth as it, um, as it approaches the final geometry and then I'm going to ignore milling down here because I'm going to hold the <clears throat> I'm going to try in extending this outside of the vise and just grip it in the vise over here uh, we'll see how that works um, I may end up having some chatter at the end here but like I said we'll see so let's keep playing that here close this up and I'll, so I'm going to speed this up a bit here. So what you can see is it's taking incremental passes. I have my geometry in the CAD model is not, uh, or the stock is not correct, but that's not actually going to be clipped off at the end there. I think these are full depth of passes, uh, full full depth of cut passes, I think at five, I th oh sorry, hold on. So now, actually let's check how, how deep I'd program those you do that by saying rough XY paths. So there are um, 40 thousandth passes at full depth of cut and you can see those as the purple lines there approaching the final green geometry. So then what I do is I've got the, um, the part being held in the vice ending you know, right around here and then what I'll do is I'll take a number of smaller steps around this final perimeter leaving just a little bit in the vice as sort of a tab. Oops. So you can see, and I'm you know doing a nice uh, angled ramp in here. So hopefully the I hope it'll look okay. And that should be it. So then what I'll do is I'll just cut that off and and sand uh, sand there, break those corner tabs off. I made one change. I made one change to the cam profile which will um, not only leave a tab on this side, but also on this side. That way I can hold the part in both vices and have it um, easy, more easily supported. So let's go ahead and click cycle start. I've already got my half inch spot drill in there. inch pilot drill.
number seven, twist drill. Now a uh, two flute carbide end mill. trim up those holes. inches a minute just because there's so much uh, there's so much uh, tool sticking out of that holder that it's uh, it'll have a lot of shatter if you don't run it slow I'm gonna stop it and uh, come back when these are just about finished okay just about finishing up that uh, trimming up those corners Taking a 40 thou depth of uh, width of cut at full depth of cut, um, which per G Wizard isn't too much on the horsepower. I forget now, maybe uh, 0.4 horsepower. Spindle should have well over one horsepower. I think technically 1.5. Um, so I want to watch and make sure the pilot doesn't pull out. And excuse me. And um, the other thing is with G Wizard and its chip thinning math, I'm actually running this tool pretty hot. Um, I think at um, 3,600 RPMs at, at full, it said to go 90 inches a minute. I, I don't have the uh, uh, courage to do that right now, but I am going to try it at 75. Still seems pretty fast, but it should be pretty thin uh, with the pass cut, so let's give it a
think only a couple more passes on this side. Slowed it down from 75 to 50 to 50 inches a minute, just to take it a little bit easier. Um, and I don't think it's going to have any bad effect. slowed it down uh, again to 35 inches a minute and as you can see here it sounds much better so um, good example of where G Wizard's a great piece of software but uh, in this situation there are other factors at hand whether it's rigidity or uh, the material or getting the chips out or whatever but um, I'm perfectly happy running it a little bit slower like this. So I'll let that run and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, that's finished. I now have 60 thou thick tabs, basically the full width. I'm gonna to switch to a half inch carbide finishing end mill and I'm going to take a very, very small skim cut about um, full depth, only about eight thousandths deep around the whole part and see how that looks. Hopefully that'll clean up the sides a little. Here it is. What I did, I had, if you remember, 50 thou of stock. So I just moved my vices close together um, so that I had support on both sides. And obviously, it's an odd, odd shape to, to lock in a vise. Rested in there, used my face mill, and just ripped that top 50 thou, which removed my tab stock material, gave me a nice surface finish. Now, the last thing I want to do, these are the geometry here is hard to deburr with a hand tool, so I'm just going to drop this in my vibratory tumbler and see if that helps takes off the edges and then we're good as you can see though in the interim I'll have a handle right here speed vice or you can do uh, less leverage on the middle position okay ran it in the tumbler for uh, about an hour and a half that definitely did a good job of knocking the edges off, which is which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Let's give it a we'll just wash it in the sink here, get the debris off it, and see what it looks like. And here it is, finished. Uh, just wiped it down with some, some Scotch Brite to clean off the dirt from the uh, deburring process in the vibratory tumbler, and then just turned a uh, little knob on my lathe that'll make it convenient for um, if anything the way the vise is mounted now. I wanted the knob to clear this lip here, um, which if you get slide all the way in, it's it's okay. It works it works fine. I think normally my vices are mounted a little bit further that way. Um, but hey, really happy with it. So that's it folks. Thanks.